The truth is that when you forgive someone, the blessing is upon the both the people. When you don't forgive, both the persons will be affected. Someone said, if you don't forgive other people or the other person, it's like carrying them on your shoulder. That is, if you don't forgive other people, you will always remember that your mind will be affected, your heart will be disturbed, and whenever you see the other person, you will get angry. So, forgiving other people does good thing for the, both the people, the person who forgives and the person who receives God's forgiveness. That's why our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ time and again insisted on forgiving other people. And he also showed it in his life when he was hanging on the cross. That was his first word. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they do. There is a story about a king who happened to have an ambassador from another country. And in his presence, he was judging many people. A person was brought before the king and the minister said, O king, he has been committing the same mistake again and again. He is a soldier in our army. Even though we have given all kinds of punishments, he was doing the same thing and different other mistakes. We don't know how to reform him. Then the king remembered how many times he had to punish him. And the king said, we don't know what to do with this fellow. We have been punishing him severely, yet he is not changing. I don't know what to do. Then the ambassador told the king, O oh, king, have you tried forgiving him? The king said, what? Forgiving him? He hasn't changed even with a lot of punishment that we gave. Then the ambassador said, see, we are Christians. Why don't you try forgiving this time? And the king listened to the voice of the ambassador and said, okay, I'll do that. And he forgave the person. And the testimony says, from that time onwards, he was very, very loyal to the king. After that, he never committed the mistake. See, forgiving someone has power. It changes people's life. It brings God peace into our heart. So Jesus knew very well the importance of forgiving other people. Now we have a <clears throat> parable. Every parable can be categorized under one or the other category that we have in the parables. All the parables are related to the kingdom of God. In all the parables, the main theme is kingdom of God. Now, Dr. C.H. Dodd, a Bible scholar, categorizes all the parables into four categories. One, he gives the title, the parables that talk about the coming of the kingdom of God. Just remember the coming of the kingdom of God. Yes, some parables tell us about how the kingdom of God is going to come into this world, how it's going to spread, how all the people on earth will come into the kingdom of God. This is about the coming of the kingdom of God. There are certain other parables that talk about the grace, the compassion, 
mercy that we experience when we come into the kingdom of god so you can remember grace in the kingdom of god the third category is that parables that talk about the citizens of the kingdom of god that is when you come into the kingdom how you ought to behave what should be your qualities how you should forgive other people how you have to obey god how you have to relate to other people this is the third category so you can remember these words first one coming of the kingdom of god second grace in the kingdom of god third one citizens of the kingdom of god the fourth one is crises of the kingdom of god he says the fourth one is what is the necessity the parables that answer the question what is the necessity to enter into the kingdom of god what will go wrong if i don't enter into the kingdom of god why should i why should i come into the kingdom of god then the third the fourth categories of parables talk about what will happen to us if we don't come into the kingdom of god how our end is going to be now so just remember this four categories whenever you study the parables that we have in the gospels coming of the kingdom of god grace in the kingdom of god citizens of the kingdom of god and crisis in the kingdom of god now today's parable comes under the third category how we should behave as citizens who have entered into the kingdom of god how we should forgive other people how important it is to forgive other people now there's another little thing that i would like to share with you whenever you study a parable there is always a background to review something would have happened we call it background background to the parable something will happen jesus would responded by telling a parable some lawyer would come and ask him what should i do in order to inherit the eternal life then jesus would give him the story the parable of the good samaritan and here also we have a background what is that if you look at verse 21 and 22 we have the background peter we know he is a leader and he comes up with this question master is it enough to forgive my brother forgive my brother seven times now who is the brother peter's brother andrew so he says if andrew andrew does something against me is it okay if i forgive him for seven times see he was saying this to jesus to boast about himself because in a normal situation in jewish community it's okay if you forgive the other person for three times if the other person commits the mistake or does something against you fourth time you don't have to forgive you can punish him you can take him to court so when peter said lord is it okay if i forgive my brother andrew for seven times he thought jesus would appreciate him but jesus did not appreciate him he said no peter you have to forgive him 70 times 7 or 7 times but 70 times 7 how much it comes to 490 490 times not just 7 that means make forgiving others a habit don't hold anything against other people when somebody does something against you 
forgive them you keep on forgive them even in the with regard to the first word that jesus uttered father forgive them actually the greek word from which the english word he said or he forgive he said literally should be translated as he kept on saying we call it imperfect tense imperfect tense he kept on saying that is when he saw the pharisees he said father forgive them when he saw the soldiers father forgive them even he saw the people who mocked at him he said father forgive them when he saw any other people he said father forgive them when he remembered about pilot father forgive them so he kept on saying that in other words the lord wants us to have this habit of forgiving other people there is power in it there is power in it you will be assured that you are a child of god you will be inside the kingdom of god don't be upset or don't think that they are taking the upper hand and they have won no you know why when you don't do something when you forgive the other person god will fight for you god will talk to him see i am completing my i will be completing my 40 years of my ministry next year in this 39 years of ministry don't think i had good time in all the past rates i had trouble makers i had people who straight away argued with me shouted at me but when you forgive them god will be on your side when i was in molakada area i was working in st john's church we had a dispute with regard to the church land our own church members encroached the church land and they had their own hutments and other things when i was there we were planning to build a big church so we need space so then we had to go to the court go to the police i went to all the places then those people came against me they filed a case against me they spread the rumors even they mentioned it in the avid of it that i am gathering the rowdies and i am planning to attack them and many a time after the morning worship service they'll be shouting at me i said lord i forgive them i didn't argue with them i didn't fight with them i left it to the lord amazingly everything worked out well the dasildar was for the church the collector was with the church even i met i happened to meet the commissioner here of course with the help of uh, bishop ezra sargunam he was a important person in dmk and they were with the church and everything went on smoothly we acquired the land back why i am saying that is that when you don't want to forgive other people because you may think that you are losing sight no god will be with you god will talk to them the day will come they themselves will come and reconcile with you they themselves will come and help you this is my experience so there is power in forgiving other people okay let me go into the parable and briefly explain that now we have a king and there was a servant who owed him some money how much was it that is an important one 
it says 10000 talents now if you have the pew bibles you have a footnote under 3 a talent was a monetary unit worth about 20 years of wages for a laborer now i calculated it it comes to 600 crores 600 crores for a laborer typical laborer one day's wages is one denarii so this is 20 years of wages so if we just calculate 365 days probably you can minus say about 50 days or so say 600 days he works and he gets like uh, 1000 rupees per day or 600, 800 rupees it comes to around crores 600 crores now the king simply forgave the whole amount the whole amount 600 crores now he goes someone else owes him money how much was that look at verse 28 100 denarii 100 denarii okay if it say 500 rupees or 800 it comes to around 50000 rupees quite a large amount 50000 but compared to the 600 crores it's nothing the king forgave him 600 crores and he couldn't forgive 50000 and he caught out all the other person and choked him and put him in prison and said till he pays the 50000 don't let him out now the co-workers saw everything they knew what happened to him how the king forgave him now when he when they saw the co-workers being ill-treated they reported it to the king and king called this person see I forgive you so much can't you forgive this little amount and the parable ends in a very very uh, unexpected way the king put him in prison and said unless you pay this 600 crores you will not be released sell all his property sell his wife and children that was a very drastic measure dear brothers and sisters in Christ the teaching is very very clear Jesus is very particular that we should forgive other people that's why he included it in the Lord's Prayer we always say Lord forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and he goes to the extent of saying in Matthew chapter 6 after teaching them the Lord's Prayer he gives some comments and in that comment Jesus says in the same way your father will forgive if you forgive others he didn't stop with that he also added one more sentence your heavenly father will not forgive you if you don't forgive other people just think in your life we meet all kinds of people in this world in our workplace in our church even within the family or among the relatives you can think of someone who has hurt you yes you are hurt that's true definitely true you're upset you're angry but at the same time as a child of God forgive them they will be off your shoulders off your mind and God will be on your side and God will help them to come to you and be reconciled with you 
let's just keep a moment of silence in the presence of god think of the people who had hurt you even in the 6 months of my time here i know many people have hurt you in the times of past is as we live in this world we meet all kinds of people people who are good to us people who are who help us but at the same time we also have people who hurt us deliberately but the lord wants you to forgive them forgive others it could be a property matter it could be a church matter it could be a matters relating to your family it could be related to your workplace whether it's christian or non christian forgive them you're a child of god you're a child of god your god says forgive them just obey just simply say my lord wants me to forgive them i will forgive them then you will know and you will experience god fighting for you he will make the other person repent and come to you so that you go you both can reconcile and renew your good relationship loving god we thank you for this message lord you always want us to forgive other people because there is power in forgiving others and we are assured that we are your child and you have assured by forgiving other people we renew the relationship and build the kingdom of god with other people lord help us to be relieved of the pride that we have in our heart ego problem self righteous attitude superiority complex help us to throw away all these things and humbly submit ourselves a thy feet o lord lord thank you for this teaching help us to forgive other people and see your wonder working power in our lives in jesus name we pray amen